Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays. In this video we're going to be looking at some unreleased early footage of the US Army models which just look absolutely fantastic. And we're actually going to be having a little drive around Operation First Light or the forest as a lot of people know this map. And I'm also going to be giving you an exclusive look at a new feature that's only literally come out this morning. And this was from feedback from the playtesters of the last two or three weeks and things that we felt really needed to be integrated into the game. There's now a vehicle claiming system. And the way that this worked before today was that only the squad leader could get in a vehicle and then anybody in his squad could get in the vehicle and drive. But what happens if you lose a vehicle or you need a vehicle and your squad leader's at the other side of the map? It means that none of the infantry back at the main base could actually get in any of the vehicles. So there's be now been a new system implemented. Now, at any point when any infantry is near a vehicle back at the main base and they want to get in it, they can request it. Barra, can you try and get into the front vehicle? Hello, Roger, squad leader, squad leader. I need a vehicle, over. Approved vehicle claim, can you do it? Thank you, squad leader. Yes. Okay. Once they try and get in the vehicle, the squad leader will get a command on his screen saying that somebody was requesting the vehicle. And in order for that squad leader to enable that person to get in, we bring up the map, we right click, and we click this icon here, which then gives permission for that infantryman to actually get in the vehicle. This is such a small thing, but it's such a huge thing as well. So let's jump in and have a look at some of the new US models and we'll have a look around the map. And I'll give you some thoughts and feedback on what is undoubtedly going to be squad's biggest release, the biggest update and the biggest changes we've had in this game, turning it from amazing to just beyond belief. Let's jump in. Welcome to Operation First Light. And welcome to a first look at these new models. And as you can see, they look absolutely fantastic. And one of the first things that's probably going to strike you or it struck me was the characters now don't look, dare I say it, gormless. And I think you'll know what I mean if you look at some of the Russian forces on... Uh, well, anyway, I'll leave it there. But as you can see, all these animations, some of the animations are new, some of them have been refined, and a lot of them are going to be reworked and remodeled. We know that from some of the devs. Here we go, we've got one of the new sniper rifles or the marksman rifles in here. Not so much a marksman myself, but as you can see, the models really do look beautiful on here. You can see the glow tubes, uh, the patches, uh, the backpacks. Each one looks slightly different, all very nicely modelled indeed. As you can see, each one's got their own webbing. Very nice, nice audio. The saw, you see the clips coming off for the casings, as you can see on here. Let's just let, him, let a few rounds off. Absolutely beautiful. I love the saw. Incidentally, the saw's actually got some new audio now. It's a lot more stable when in prone, when firing at full burst as well, which you shouldn't do with this weapon. It should be short bursts. But yeah, it has had some love, and I absolutely love this weapon. Beautiful. And last but not least, of course, we have the 203 gun. And now what's quite funny here is on the video, I was saying to him, can you fire the 203, fire the 203? And he kept f just firing a couple of rounds off. He actually thought I meant, will you fire two or three different rounds? <laughs> Which is quite funny because I would never say fire the UGL. I would always say, will you fire oh. the 203? Because that's what I've always known it as. But, but that's the 203. Oh, sorry, my bad. I thought it was two or three rounds. <laughs> oh, two or three. <laughs> no, two or three round, I can do it again. That's you should have said 40 mic or something like that. So let's jump in a vehicle and I shall tell you what's changed and what's actually happening with the whole release at the minute. Now the embargo has been released today at two o'clock. That doesn't mean that the game is out, but what I can say is you haven't got very long to wait. I've actually played the retail version today on the test server and it is pretty much rock solid. There are one or two slight little things that the devs were telling me that they want to sort out and iron out so that when it's released for you guys on the public, you're not going to have any of the problems that we've been working through as testers for the last month, six weeks or even longer to be honest with you. It's been worth it. I know the wait has been long and a lot of people have been grumbling. When's it coming? When's it coming? When's it coming? But would you rather have something that's polished and fixed and worked or something that's a glitchy mess and have it earlier? I know what I would choose. 
Little things you may see on some of the other videos that have been released recently are such as things as the turret on the Humvees used to glitch and stutter. That's been fixed. That's been done in today's update. That's been completely fixed and done. Other issues like losing sound, that's been fixed. Other things such as vehicles getting stuck on walls, on chore and things and flying into there, that's been fixed. There's been an absolute whole host of things. The cameras in the vehicles now don't get stuck. Whereas before we used to turn, your camera would get stuck and you couldn't move your head, things like this. I haven't seen any other options of getting out of a vehicle and falling through the map. That seems to have been fixed as well. They're changing, the, there's physics on the actual radio antennas now on the vehicles, they bounce around and they won't have the geometry now so you can't actually stand on them and all do all these stupid idiotic things that people do. Lots and lots of things have been spit and polished so the devs really have been working overtime guys while everybody else in the community has been bitching, bitching and moaning, I can't even say it. It's been worth it, honestly. Wait till you get in the first time and you see the BTR or the Humvees and the reload animations and everything else you're going to be absolutely mind blown. So here we are on this map and we're just going to take a little drive around. Now, I used to really enjoy this map. It wasn't my favorite map, if I am honest, but all the trees have been redone on this map. The lighting engine has also been updated with the new real engine version. So we're starting to get a lot nicer lighting. It's difficult to explain and there is a lot of compression. I know it's watching back this video on YouTube. Once you actually get in and the sunlight comes over through the trees, it's a lot more realistic experience. It's one of those things where we take the lighting for granted and we know eventually that true sky will be coming. So we will get weather effects, there will be rain, lightning, which you can already, if you know how to use the SDK, you can already go in and have a look. Looks incredible. We'll also be getting fog and all these other things that are going to be implemented with the new version of the engine. But as you can see on screen, well, I was going to say, I was going to talk about the trees, but this is one other thing to note with the Humvees. Well, you can go through these forests and try and flank the enemy. Of course, they're going to be able to hear your engine. It is quite loud from a distance. And in these open areas here, not only is it good for the Humvees to take down infantry, but it works as cat and mouse because the infantry can hide in these tree lines with the lats and the RPG heat rounds and two rounds from it and you, you're pretty much toast, let's be honest. And of course, they can kill the driver while you're still on the gun. Now, one thing also I can confirm from speaking to the devs this morning is that there will be a duck animation eventually for the 50 cows, so you will be able to duck down and give yourself some protection. And at the minute, it's not actually possible to shoot the drivers out of these vehicles, although the Humvee is a pretty solid vehicle, so grenades are not going to do this vehicle any damage. Regarding the BTR, you will eventually, in future updates, be able to shoot the driver out of the hatch, which means he will need the hatch down. This works again as cat and mouse because it really does give his view restrictions, makes it rather difficult. So driving the Humvee or the BTR through the forest, while this is all very good, you get yourself into a sticky situation. It's going to be extremely difficult to manoeuvre and get yourself out, especially with the BTR. It's not the fastest of vehicles to get going until you get on a long straight. So something to think about. Look after your vehicles. They're extremely valuable. Anyway, I think I've waffled on enough. Let's just have a little drive around and I shall see you in some future updates and no doubt plenty of content coming for me for version 7 from tutorials, vehicle overviews, map overviews. I've got all sorts planned coming guys. So subscribe, help me grow the channel a little bit. I'm only a little fish, but you know, I've been here since day one. I know how to play the game, whereas a lot of the big YouTubers. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Uh, I've been Paraplays, and this has been a little look around for Operation First Light and the forest and the new models and a little bit of a rant and information for you follow squids out there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the battlefield real soon. Bye-bye.